Here we go. Is everybody get ready? Ski, come to attention, either sitting or standing. All right. Show me, right. Wow. Okay. I'm going to turn the um, meeting over to our MCs, uh, Steve McKay and Jeff Rhodes. So if they would both take a second to say hi so we can recognize see who they are. Uh, Jeff Rhodes. Hey. Say your name or something, Jeff, so you come up on speaker view. Sure. Jeff Rhodes, Center for Martial Arts. And Steve McKay. Steve McKay, Mansfield Kwamakan Martial Arts in Ashland Kwamakan. As a matter of fact, how they handle that would be the best way for each participant to introduce themselves, to say their name and the dojo they're from. Okay. And that should give enough to have, have you up on the screen. Uh, last word we'd like to say is when you know your turn's coming up, it does work better that if you, uh, at that point, unmute yourself and unmute yourself afterwards. Some of you can, can unmute by holding a button down on your phone or holding the space bar. That doesn't always work and sometimes takes a second or two for Zoom to recognize that. Okay. So, um, Shihan Rhodes, if you'll please start. Hi. Welcome all, Yudansha, Karatika, parents and guests to the annual International Kwamakan Society Don Award Ceremony. This assembly conducts the business of the Kwamakan each year, giving honor to accomplishments since the last all Kwamakan assembly. Due to these circumstances, we will conduct this year's ceremony digitally. Before we begin tonight's task, let's take a moment to recognize those grandmasters and senior practitioners who have come before and now have passed on. We will engage in a moment of silence to honor those who have come before us. George Anderson, Chol He Park, Robert Trias, Masafumi Suzuki, Sadaki Naka Bayashi, Thomas Le Puppet, Masahura Sakamuki, Ben De Leon, De Leon. Joe Bonacci, Max Sissel, Robert Magnuson, Thurl McClanahan, Jim DeSalt, Thong Hee Che, James D. Rudaba, Jack Holderbaum, Harvey Karam, Hanchi Robert Saul, Xi'an John Lene, Xi'an Bob Valentine, Kenneth Ackerman, Chuck Goins, Xi'an Jim Harrison, Tung Chu Che, and Xi'an Ken Ferguson. If there is anybody else that you wish to recognize, uh, we ask that you say their names now. Master Le Puppet, Tom Le Puppet. He was listed, uh, Kareem, number six name on the list. Charles Goins. Charles Goins' name was also mentioned. He was fourth from the last. Sorry. That's okay. Still important that we clarify. That's all. Okay, thank you. Before we get too much further, Mr. Hickey, would you please stop sharing your screen? Unless you wanted to show that. Uh... Well, we'll show that in a second, but okay. But I can stop sharing the screen for right now. Thank you, sir. To all present, it is my pleasure to now introduce the co-presidents of the Sheehan Council of the Kwanmakan, Hanshi's Larry Overholt and Carl Wilcox. Hanshi Carl Wilcox was born in Berkeley, California. He started his martial arts training in 1957 after five and a half years of training in boxing. To his benefit, his last two years of boxing took place on the weekends at the famous North Miami Beach Fifth Street Gym. His first sensei was Mr. Shamada in Jiu Jitsu. Other instructors were Richard A. Cooper, Mike Foster, Daryl Craig, Robert Perry, and others. His most influential martial artists and teachers have been Nosa George Anderson and Hanchi Larry Lunn. Hanshi Wilcox has trained 
a world champion for the Okinawan World Championships held in Atlanta, Georgia, and had the privilege to study with two special operations people who could not be named. His education includes time spent at Palm, Palm Beach State, Ventura College, San Diego State, and Ashford University. After many interruptions, he quietly achieved his Doctor of Philosophy in 1993. His initial profession included the Palm Beach Post Times, Orlando Sentinel, Freedom Newspapers, Cleveland Plain Dealer, Golden Key Publications, and ABC Television. For 17 years, he taught a martial arts culture program at the University of North Carolina in Asheville. Mr. Wilcox is an accomplished instructor for law enforcement, including the FBI, DEA, ATF, and SWAT teams, including instructing at state training academies. Anchi Larry Overhaul began his martial arts training in 1996 at the Ashland YMCA. He met Anchi Anderson in 1969 at the Fairlawn Gym of Il Ju Kim. It was there that he also met Tung Chu Che. Hanchi Ofro trained with Tung Chu Che for many years before joining full time with Hanchi Anderson. Hanchi Ofro is a, the retired sheriff of the Ashton County and served in law, law enforcement for more than 30 years. He is a leader in the Kwamakan of the Police Self Defense Institute and has been an, an instructor in law enforcement for almost all of his career. Mr. Overall continues to teach Kwamakan Karate at the Ashland YMCA and has approximately 25 to 30 students, numerous sensei and three Xi'an under his care. At this point, I would like to invite Hanchi Wilcox and Hanchi Overall to say a few words. Hanchi Wilcox. Hanchi Wilcox, can you unmute yourself? Did we lose him? Okay, let's have Hanchi Overholt go first. So Hanchi Overholt. Charles, I don't see either one of those two on the list anymore. Did we lose them? I see Mr. Overholt and also Mr. and also Mr. Wilcox. Can you hear me now? Yes. Go ahead, Hanshi Wilcox. Can you hear me now? Right? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, and this is a privilege and an honor to be part of another one of the great Kwamakan promotional and certification processes that we have since the beginning of the Kwamakan. We owe a great thanks to each and every one of those who've gone before. No matter what their contribution has been, they all have made a great effect and cause in the movement of the Kwamakan. We must also thank our leaders, Pat Hickey and Pam Hickey, who have been primary in the USAKF and the Kwamakan, especially for its growth and continuization. Our Shihans now have it upon their shoulders to continue forward and to move to maintain the living legacy and life of the Kwamakan itself. We as the senior ranks request that of those coming up under them to make sure that they follow in the direction of the philosophy of the Kwamakan. The leaders must take the time to invest in the proper means of instruction so those underlings okay. can grow and take the place of each and every one of us as our maturity takes us in a different direction. I would like to thank the Kwamakan committees, the Kwamakan 
activists, primarily Pat and Pam Hickey, for their support of all of us from the day we started until this day and the future forward. I humbly say thank you to each and every one of you that follow the philosophy of the Kwamakan of maintain the life from this day on. Blessings to all. Thank you. Bless. Aren't you overhold? Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. <clears throat> well, that's good. <laughs> you know, I'm sitting here listening to uh, Jeff Rhodes and Pat Hickey and, and uh, Carl Wilcox, and I'm thinking to myself <clears throat> just how important this meeting is. Um, it's a shame that we can't be, do this in person because this is really, really very important. I listened also to the list of the people who have gone before us. And that's really, really important. And it's really important that the people that are participating is in this uh, meeting uh, take to heart the people that went before us because they were very instrumental in forming the the, the Kwame Kwan and the entire history of uh, what we do and what we represent. Um, I just simply cannot begin to tell you how important this meeting is. All of you lower ranks, I don't want to say lower ranks, all of you Dons that are moving up in rank, um, it's really, really important because someday, you know, I'm not going to be here and Wilcox's going to be, not going to be here. And our the leader right now, the Kwame Kwan, who is a uh, haunchy Pat Hickey, I'm, I'm sure he's going to live a lot longer than me. He's got a few years on me. Um, but somebody's going to have to take his place and take our place. And this is one of the things that that we do every year that takes a step forward, and it's really, really important. Um, I like very much what uh, Hanshi Wilcox had to say, and uh, uh, he's a real leader in the Kwame Kwan. And Hanshi Pat Hickey, Pat, I cannot begin to tell you how much I appreciate the leadership that you've given the Kwame Kwan. You know, if you look over the past the the organizations, the martial arts organizations that their their leader or founder has died, and it just kind of disintegrated. That hasn't happened here, and the reason why, personally, I feel is because of you. So I look forward to your leadership and uh, what you've done for us. And thank you very much. That's all I have. I'm off. Yes. I'd like to uh, thank Hanshi Wilcox and Hanshi Overholt for their words and inspiration tonight. We will now turn over the program to the director of the Kwamakan, Hanshi Patrick Hickey. Hanshi Hickey holds the rank of ninth dan in both the Kwamakan and Kangdaquan and has more than 40 years of experience as a competitor, instructor, coach, referee, and judge. He is a certified black belt in judo, jujitsu, and kobudo. Mr. Hickey was a former AAU karate official, a nationally rated referee and coach, and an international referee. He was an officer for the United States National Governing Body for Karate from 1986 to 1994, and currently heads the USA Karate Senior Masters Caucus. Hanshi Hickey is the president of the USA Karate Federation and the director of the International Kwamakan. And he and his wife, Shihan Pamela Hickey, run the Hickey Karate Center in Stowe, Ohio. Thank you. Tonight, we once again gather to acknowledge the accomplishments of the Kwamakan members and celebrate in their achievement. As we did last year, we are conducting the celebra celebra celebration digitally due to the pandemic. While these have been very challenging times, the Kwame Khan has been able to persevere and remain strong despite the somewhat unique challenges the pandemic presents to martial arts practice. This is a testament to our strength of our organization and our membership. Uh, before we move to the dawn grading, I'd like to do a few things. One of them is uh, put a little bit of a fun video together, uh, trying to capture 
some of the people that were in the celebration of the Kwamecon in hopes of increasing the participation of that next year as we hope to do it actually in a combined digital and in-person sense. So I'm gonna share my screen for a second and we're gonna, hopefully this video will come through well and maybe you'll have a little bit of fun and some of you will see yourselves. Okay, so I hope that was a little bit of fun for everybody. Um, and maybe we could uh, do a little bit of clap for all our actors in that uh, video. We have three awards that we present, uh, sometimes uh, annually, sometimes we go a few years in between. These awards are the George E. Anderson Distinguished Service Award, the Lifetime Achievement Award, and the Sheehan of the Year Award. This year, we are recognizing three individuals, one for each award. So as I do each award separately, I like those individuals to kind of identify themselves and also um, if they wish to say a few words. Now, again, because of how we're doing this, uh, we do have a certificate that we can, we're gonna send to you through the chat, but your actual award will come, uh, will be shipped to you. And we apologize for doing it in that manner, but we really don't know any other way to, uh, to accomplish this. So the first is the Georgie Anderson Distinguished Service Award. For your contributions to the Kwame Khan over the years, I am pleased to award you the Georgie Anderson Distinguished Service Award. This award is for Hansi Joe Gabriel. He has represented Hansi Anderson and the Kwame Khan through his many 50 plus years in the martial arts. He was a retired police officer, has uh, competed at the Police Olympics on four continents. After the breakup of Yugoslavia, he started a Kwame Khan school in Kosovo with the help and guidance of Hansi Anderson. He shared Kwame Khan concepts throughout the Czech Republic. Hansi Gabriel was a longtime police officer, police training uh, instructor, and founding member of the PSDI, Police Self-Defense Instructors Institute, serving as an international representative and later serving both as president and vice president. He has been instrumental in Ohio as a defensive tactics instructor and as a technical head of the American Institute of the Martial Arts. Uh, Sheehan Gabriel, would you please uh, recognize yourself here? And again, if you're on speaker view, uh, would you like to say a few words? Uh, you have to unmute yourself. Is it better now? Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for the honor, Sensei. Would you like to say anything more? <laughs> I could go on, but the gentleman before me said it all. 
Well, this isn't about me. This is about you guys. Okay. And I know that sometimes it happens that people focus on me, but we're trying to right now focus on individuals who have over the years been extremely supportive of the Quantumicon and have gone beyond and above. And, uh, you know, Hansi Gabriel is definitely one of the ones who's done that. And I think uh, because of his unique relationship with George Anderson, he's definitely deserving of this award. So if we could all do a, um, a thumbs up or, or something, uh, a reaction, and also text, text, uh, text in the congratulations in the chat. Joe, I couldn't think of anyone who deserved this more. Thank you so much. It's been too long, my friend. It has. Does anybody else want to make any quick um, words? If not, we'll move on to the next award. The next award is the Sheehan Award. It's for past services and continued improvement involvement. So past services and continued involvement both within and without the Kwame Khan and other martial arts organizations. This year, we recognize um, Sheehan Jeff Ellis. Sheehan Ellis began formal karate, tra karate training in 1970 and joined up with Hansi Anderson in 1976. He is now a ninth degree black belt in the Kwame Khan. Sheehan Ellis has run the Jeff Ellis International Karate Center for 45 years and has been heavily involved in community activities in the Strongsville, Ohio area, including such things as the PTA, the Rotary, food drives, and many other community activities. He was recognized by the mayor of Strongsville and the Ohio PTA in addition to produce, and in addition to producing many fine uh, karate men and women. Uh, he's uh, run the uh, Child Safe Community Fair which is now an annual event in Strongsville and recognized uh, throughout the, the uh, greater Cuyahoga County area. Over many years, he has maintained an annual tournament and has traveled internationally on, be on behalf of the USA Karate Federation and the United States Judicial Federation, as well as, fill as, well as filling uh, various national positions. Uh, Sean Ellis, would you uh, introduce yourself here? <laughs> Thank you, uh, Hanshi Hickey. Well, let me first say I am um, certainly gra uh, grateful and, and uh, honored to be recognized in this manner with the Xi'an Award and understand uh, just how valuable it is and, and the memories that uh, we've all gained in our training with, with uh, Hanshi Anderson is just uh, something very spectacular. And to, today to know that we are still so strong as a group. And you know, we're really a, a some of our, our parts. And of course that begins with the, the leadership at the top and uh, Hachi Hickey and his, and his wife and and all the very talented people that we have in the Kwame Khan lays a testament to all we have and what we continue to accomplish in and overseen by the Hanchi Larry Overholt and Hanchi Carl Wilcox. You know, we're really, a really strong and dynamic group and, and as such it's just a really a great privilege to be part of all this for so many years and look forward to the continual training and in the and is most uh, grateful for this award thank you okay again if you could um, whatever just automatically if you want to put a reaction on the screen feel free to do so and send a congratulations throughout the chat, either to them personally or to the group chat. I'm so grateful to my wife for supporting me all these years. <laughs> I, don't know. I should be remiss in not saying that my wife has been here all these years to support me. And, and uh, so I am deeply humbled by, by knowing that uh, she's made the sacrifices to, to allow me to have the opportunity to do all this with this martial arts. And, so I want to thank her and let her know how much I love her for for that. <laughs> is Mrs. Ellis there? Can, yeah. Is she there? She is. Can we see her on the screen? I'm sorry. <laughs> how much trouble did he just get himself into? None at all. <laughs> that was all on his own. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Janice, 
Congratulations. Right, the, this year, we are going to have a Lifetime Achievement Award, and we are going to give this Lifetime Achievement Award to Xi'an Woody Wilson for his lengthy association with all the different organizations that we have had throughout the years in Central Taekwondo, the AEU, the Kwame Khan, and his commitment to the martial arts. We are pleased to award you the Lifetime Achievement Award. Shen Wilson is married to Bobby Wilson, a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. Together, Woody and Bobby have two children. Woody Jr., who is a first degree black belt, and Brian, a second degree black belt. The Wilsons are blessed with five grandchildren. Shen Wilson is a retired US military with 17 years served first in the Navy and then in the Army. He served 11 years in law enforcement, including the Holmes County Sheriff's Reserve, the Stark County Sheriff's Reserve Battalion. He served as Kilbach Police Department Captain and then Chief of Police. John Wilson graduated from Ashland University with Bachelor's of Science in Education and holds the ninth degree in Mutaquan under Grandmaster Dong Hee Che. So congratulations, Mr. Wilson, would you, uh, John Wilson, would you please identify yourself so we can see you on the um, screen? <laughs> Has he done How that? How do I do that? All right, if you guys don't mind recognizing him and saying your congratulations, would you like to say anything? There we go. Um, I'm flabbergasted. I didn't expect anything like this. I really appreciate this uh, from all of you. Thank you very much. Anybody else like to comment? Yes, I sure would. Uh... Uh, Mr. Wilson, you're a very respected martial artist with, with a, a knowledge that's uh, unsurpassed. And, you know, it's a real honor for us to have you in the Quantum Con. And as you continue to share all your, your knowledge and your vast experience with us, you're just a really, uh, really great person. Congratulations to you. Okay, before we continue, with the uh, Black Belt Awards, we'd also like to recognize Janine Dalton. Janine, would you kind of say something so we can see, see you and see who you are? Hi. Janine and it's also Tracy Miller. So Tracy, would you come up on the screen a second? Okay, I did a moment ago, okay. So it's good to be here. It's good to be back in Ohio and uh, coming back into the fold at the Karate Gym. I'm enjoying it. I enjoy being the treasurer and learning new stuff from everybody. I can't wait to get back in the gym. I really wanna get back in the gym, all that space and working out with people. So soon, I hope. Okay, just uh, jump the gun just one little second there, but both uh, uh, Janine and Tracy uh, became life members this year of the Kwame Khan. Tracy, would you like to say anything? Great, right, thank you. Um, yeah, I can't actually wait to start my own little practice out here with everyone's permission, but that's what I'm gonna do with my lifetime membership. <laughs> it's gonna expand the Kwame Khan out here. Thank you. I'm going to turn this back over to Steve McKay and Jeff Rhodes who are going to handle the, um, the Black Belt uh, ceremonies. Now, what I would like to do though, is direct everybody to the chat for a second. I am going to send two documents to the chat so that everybody has them. And one is the oath for the seniors and one is the oath for the juniors, the Black Belt oaths. Uh, rather than have everybody say it or repeat it like we usually do, what we're going to do is have them read it and the copies are complimentary for you to follow along with uh, as they read. So we'll give you a second or two to open up the PDF files so that you have it, them in front of you. So from this point on. Um, Mr. Hickey. Yes. May I please add something? Sure. David Ames. Um, I would like to add the fact that Janine Dalton was a second degree black belt when I started with the Kwame Khan as a green belt from Shotokan. She is really one of the real senior people. And uh, I don't think a lot of people really understand where she really was in the formation of our organization. And she should be respected for that. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you. 
Thank you. You're very think, kind, Dave. Thank you. You're very kind. I, I think as those who are taking the instructor training course are starting to realize which names have been around for a long time. Uh, through, through one of the ways that I'm teaching the course, they start to see who's who was around in the different years. And, um, you know, so we do have quite a few people. And that's one of the strengths of the Kwame Khan is that we have a, a lot of people that go back to the very foundations of the organism, of the style and the organization when Mr. Anderson first created it. And we have, um, you know, uh, something which, you know, uh, you know, Sean Ames and I don't have, and that's the fact that Jeanine Dalton came right out of George Anderson's dojo and we came to George Anderson. We didn't start with him, she did. And that's, uh, you know, something to say. And of course, Green Housley's on the meeting too, and Green started with George Anderson. And uh, Carol, I think, is on here. And, you know, those all go back to the early 70s. And there's probably somebody I'm missing right now. So I apologize if I have. But uh, just to show you the depth and, and you know, the, the, the way he, um, his personality has created this long-term commitment to the, to the martial arts that, uh, and the style that he created. Okay, I would like to turn the ceremony over to Steve McKay and Jeff Rhodes. Uh, to honor the black belts, we'll start with the higher ranks and uh, move down to the lower ranks. And then at the very end, we have two dojo sensei to recognize. So we're going to go through uh, those. Uh, for those watching the time, it will move a little faster now. So, okay. Um, sensei McKay, Shihan and Rhodes. Shihan. Will the candidates receiving grade in the Kwamakan Arts please stand up and prepare to recite your oath? Because we're doing this digitally, please keep your microphones muted as you recite the oaths read by myself and Shihan Rhodes. Shihan um, Rhodes. Thank you. Adult candidates for downgrade, those 14 and over, please repeat the oath after me. I state your name in the presence of the International Comic Con and the President Udancha of the Kwamakan, in consideration of receiving any certification, do solemnly and sincerely agree that as a black Kwamakan black belts, one, I will not remove the black belt, vested in me by the Kwamakan in any art which I have been properly invested by the Kwamakan. I will be loyal to the Kwamakan and will control any defiant or rebellious spirit submitting to the discipline and pre-established order of the Kwamakan so far as it is consistent with my God, country, and family. I will observe all protocol as presented by the Kwamakan, and I will never attempt to form a lobby within any Kwamakan dojo to attempt to personally force a change to any situation. I will discuss any problem with my direct elders and seniors. I will abide by the resolution of all problems and conflicts as decided by the Xi'an board and will accept their decision handed down without any further discussion. I will observe all protocol as presented by the Kwamakan, always deferring to and respecting elders and seniors I'll respect and follow to the letter behavior and uniform requirements so far as I am aware of them. In the event that I might want to visit or train at other Kwamakan Dojo or participate in competitions, I will abide by the advice and consent of my elders and seniors who are aware of the proper protocol for the same. I will not participate in, be present at, or award any certificates of grade or rank except under a legally constituted panel formed under charter from the Kwamakan, whose presence includes at least one holder of any investiture certificate from the Kwamakan, or under special written dispens dispensation signed by the director of the Kwamakan. I will always be considerate of and properly tend to my family. I will honor and advance the principles of the Kwamakan, studying them diligently so that I might have a full understanding thereof. 
I will never cheat, defraud, or damage the reputations of any fellow of the Comic-Con or their family. I will support the Qualmicon and lend aid to all worthy and distressed Qualmicon members if it does not hurt my family or business and is legally justified. I will be present at all Qualmicon functions to the best of my ability so far as I'm able to comply. I will not reveal the special teachings of the Qualmicon, including the structure of the Qualmicon standards and details of any and all degrees or the Comic-Con's esoteric teachings to any person not to authorize to receive them. Furthermore, I will not associate socially with or visit with persons currently under sentence of sus suspension or expulsion from this Comic-Con unless direct permission has been granted me to do so. I will not, if suspended or expelled from the Qualmicon, use the name of the Qualmicon, reveal the secret workings of this organization or any of its systems, operations, or functions, including standards and secrets of any and all degrees. Furthermore, I state your name of my own free will and accord do agree upon receiving the certification of grade that I will comply with, conform to, and obey the aforesaid obligations repeated publicly by me hereon, agreeing to the following sanctions or penalties for willful violation of my obligation. The penalty of suspension or expulsion of having my name expunged from the records and no longer being recognized by this Qualmicon, of having all grades given me withdrawn and revoked, in which case I agree to return all certificates and badges, manuals, instructional material, and other items given to me. I take this obligation for my own free will and in the presence of the Qualmicon, and may it stand as my statement of accord and be recognized by all persons present. If that was the adult obligation, and then we have the youth obligation. Back to you, Steve. Thank you, sir. Candidates for junior black belt grade, please recite after me. I declare my loyalty to the Kwan Mukan. I will not remove this black belt in place of one from any other organization and will wear it proudly for the rest of my life. I will honor and respect the principles of the Kwan Mukan and continue my study digitally, diligently. I will attend and support all Kwan Mukan functions to the best of my ability. I will never do anything to injure the reputation of my family my country or the Kwanmakan and any of its members, nor will I treat my family, my country or the Kwanmakan with disrespect. I will always be considerate of respect and obey my parents. I will, I will only use my martial arts skills to protect those in need. I will always do my best finishing what I start. I will always tell the truth. I will observe the behavior and uniform requirements of the Kwamakan, always deferring to and respecting my elders and senior leaders. I shall seek the advice of my Shihan or Sensei concerning other training and competition opportunities. I understand that as a member of the Kwamakan, I will not share any of its teachings without permission of the Kwamakan. Should I have a disagreement with any sensei, black belt, or dojo mate, I will advise my shihan or sensei and abide by his or her decision. I will, I will submit to the discipline and order of the Kwan submitting any disagreements to my shihan or sensei or to the Kwan Makan shihan board if my difficulties are with my shihan. Should I not follow the principles of the Kwan Makan, 
as outlined above, I submit myself to the discipline of the Kwamukan, and I understand that I can be suspended or expelled and have my name and any certification certifications expunged from the records of the Kwamukan. We will now recognize those individuals advancing in rank. One person is being recognized with a seventh arm promotion in Kwamukan Karate, Mickey Yorko. Mr. Yurko has studied the martial arts since 1973, beginning his training under Master Theodore Rubo and Master Joseph Gabriel. He achieved his sixth dan in both karate and kobodo in 2005. He has also been recognized as a MEC, Marshall Blades Concepts, black belt since 2016. Mr. Yorko has been a police academy instructor at Kent State and Youngstown State Universities for 28 years. Teaching police officers and use of force and martial arts related to self-defense techniques. Sitsi Yorko is a retired deputy sheriff holding the rank of Sergeant upon his retirement. During his law enforcement career, he worked on patrol and corrections with SWAT and as an operator, instructor and team leader of the Mahoning Valley Violent Crimes Task Force under the leadership of the FBI. During his career, Mr. Yurko has offered dignitary protection for persons including Presidents Clinton and Obama, Vice President Joe Biden, as well as various governors and other polit political office holders. Mr. Yurko has been married to his spouse, Joanne, for 43 years, and they have four children. His hobbies include knife making, motorcycling, bicycling, kayaking, and metal detecting, as well as jewelry making. Before I continue, I want to apologize in advance for any uh, mispronunciation of the names. Three individuals are receiving their sixth don in Kwamukan. Slow down, slow down. So, uh, Mr. Yorko, would you please stand up? And if you would like, uh, we would give you the opportunity to say anything if you would like. Good evening, everybody. It's a pleasure and an honor to be associated with the martial artists in this group. We all have various backgrounds. And it's a privilege to get this rank, but I consider myself a student of the martial arts for the past 48 years, and that will continue. Thank you. So again, uh, we'd like you to congratulate either through, you know, reactions and, and chat to, to send your congratulations. Okay. Now you can continue. Thank you. Three individuals are receiving their sixth don in Kwamakan Karate. Stephen, Josh, Nearly, begin his martial arts training with Shion Feldman and CKA, CKA at Lakeland Community College over 20 years ago, and has continued with Shion Feldman since then. Some years ago, he became an adjunct teacher at Lakeland so that he could assist Shion Feldman with the karate classes at the college. Josh is an accomplished attorney and partner at Han, Losser, and Parks in Cleveland and uses professional expertise in helping us to write and adopt the recent Kwamakan Constitution. Keith Daughtry began his karate training in 1998 at the dojo of Xi'an David Ames. He was recognized as a Kwamakan Society Sensei in 2004. Mr. Daughtry completed the year-long master's course with Hanshi Anderson in 2002. Sensei Daughtry continues to instruct at Joshua Academy while continuing to receive instruction from Kiyoshi David Ames. Tony Harmon. His karate training in 1998, started his karate training in 1998 with Kiyoshi David Ames and is still with him today. He spent a few years in the early 2000s with Hanshi Anderson traveling with him on his Kwamakan USA team, competing at the national and international level. Mr. Harmon had the honor and privilege at that time to train with many other Shions and senseis. In 2004, he was recognized by Mr. Anderson as a Kwamakan sensei. 
Since then, he has earned his national referee certification with USAKF Comic Con. In 2002, he started teaching for Kyoshi Ames at his satellite school and continues to teach there. In October of 2020, he and longtime friend Chris Bader took over the Kwama Zunakai and reopened it as Josho Academy of Martial Arts. There he continues his training under Kiyoshi David Ames. If we could take a, a second here and identify um, Stephen Nurley, if you please uh, say something so that we can bring you into speaker view. Thank you. I'm obviously very, uh, very honored by, uh, by this promotion. Thank you. Okay, Keith, Doherty. Hi, thank you very much for the promotion. I appreciate the, the opportunity that I've gotten with the Comic Con. Okay, Keith, would you do us a favor? Nobody knows sure. how to say, nobody knows how to say your last name. It's Doherty. So it, it's Keith Doherty. Thank you. And we have Tony Harmon. Hi, um, I'd like to thank you for the promotion and the honor. This is a great honor, but uh, I would uh, really like to mention and thank uh, Kiyoshi David Ames. He's been a, a long, my longtime teacher, uh, a great mentor, and, and most of all, he's just been a, a, an awesome friend and a great help through this you know, awesome journey and adventure I've had in the Kwamakam martial arts, and I, I look forward to being with him and in the Comic Con for a long, long, long time. And thank you guys very much. Okay. Okay, Steve and um, Jeff, would you please move the program? Receiving his fifth down in Comic Con Karate is David Miller. Receiving. Thank you. Anything more? <laughs> I, I'm honored to um, be studying with Keith and Tony and everybody at Joe Show Academy and and uh, can't thank Mr. Ames more. Thank you. Receiving his fourth down in Kwamakan Karate is Charles Flat. Hi, good evening. If it weren't for Jeff Hudson, I wouldn't be the man I am. And if it weren't for the Kwamakan, he wouldn't be the man he is. So I am grateful to everyone in this organization. Thank you. Lauren Shifley. Daniel Owens and Kristen Jansen are receiving their third dons in Comic Con Karate. Lauren? Hi. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, just thank you. <laughs> That's fine. Daniel Owens, is he on tonight? Kristen Jansen. Hi. Thank you so much. Thank you to Sensei Jeff Ellis and all the International Kwame Khan. Thank you. Back to you, Steve McKay. Thank you, sir. The following individuals are receiving their second don in Kwame no Khan Karate. Josh Bordenaro. Christina Gangale, Bill Skinner, Dave Holbert, James Gadash, Ryan Scott Isaacson, Darlene Dull, and Brent Schweier. The following in. OK, 
Okay, uh, I don't see Josh Bordenaro on here, but Christine Gagali, can you identify yourself here so everybody can see you? Hi. Um, thank you. I'd like to thank Pat Hickey for his instruction and support. Okay, Bill Skinner. Hey. I'd like to thank Sheon Ellis for all the time he puts into me making sure uh, I'm doing everything right. It's an honor to uh, um, to have him as my instructor. Is Dave Holbert on? Uh, yes, hi. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, since uh, Sheon Ellis and uh, the Quantum Con uh, organization. Uh, I've learned a lot and I appreciate all of you. Thank you. James Gadosh, uh, Ryan Isaacson. Hey. I'd like, uh, thank you very much, Ryan Scott Isaacson of Ski Kage Du. I'd like to thank Shihan Michael Ayers and uh, Bill Stefanacci Sensei for all their guidance and support through the years. He's from Cal. They're here from California, right? You're in California right now. I'm in, I'm in California. All right, uh, Darlene Dull. I don't see her on the meeting. Brent Schweier. Is Brent Schweier Hi. here? It's an honor to have Steve, such a Steve McKay as an instructor. Okay. Shall we continue? Steve, Steve. <laughs> the following individuals are receiving their shodan in Kwamakan Karate. Alex Trago, Vincent Owens, James Shrek III, Alexis Embaugh, and Samantha Funk. So, Alex, can we get video on you for a second? Um, no, I do not have a camera at the moment. All right, well, that was Alex. Yeah. Uh, Vince, o Vince Owen, James Shrek, uh, Alexis Semba, Samantha Funk. Well, none of them are on. Okay, I'll continue. Steve, can you continue? My mistake. Receiving their showdown rank in Kobudo are Josh Bordenaro, Alex Trigub, Christina Gangale and Benjamin Bordenaro. Okay, so again, uh, we have Alex and Christina. If they can just quickly pop on here a second. Hi. What's the best we're going to get out, uh, Alex? Hey. And Christina, thank you. Okay, you might. Uh, let's continue. Sophia Badenhouse and Elena Lozano are receiving their showdown ho in Kwamakan Karate. Sophia. Hi. Thank you. It's an honor. And Elena. Uh, hi. I just wanted to thank you. It's, a, it's an honor to receive this. And I want to thank Mr. Hickey for teaching me up to this point. Juniors right, uh, go, Jeff. Thank you. Juniors receiving promotions this year include Nicholas Mimis, who's receiving his fourth level junior black belt in karate and his first level junior grade in Kobodo. Nicholas. Thank you. It's an honor to receive this award. And I would like to thank Shion Jeff Ellis. Uh, for all of the teachings and support he has given me. 
Andrew Morris is recognized for his first level one and level two junior black belt in karate. And Sanyu Karathadi is receiving his first level junior black belt in karate. So is Andrew Morris here? Is Sanyu here? Hi. Uh, thank you, it's an honor. Uh, I would like to thank Shian Jeffelis, Sensei, and all the senpais for giving me all the support. Thank you, everyone. Finally, we would like to recognize two individuals who are being recognized as Dojo Senseis, Kristen Spear and Daniel Owens. I don't think Daniel Owens here. Is Kristen still here? Sorry. Speak, speak, speak Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was muted and I'm kind of speechless. Thank you so much for this honor. I appreciate it. <laughs> I would now like to turn the program over to the president and director of the International Qualmicon, Anchi Patrick Hickey, for closing remarks. I'd like to thank everybody for being here tonight. Um, you know, once a year, we try to recognize everybody who has received a, you know, a black belt promotion throughout the, the last year. And of course, you know, we're all into our plans and everything else for planning next year's awards because, uh, and promotions because that doesn't happen overnight. It happens with a lot of hard work. And you almost have to start now or last year or something, some year, a couple of years before you get your next rank level. But you have to start at some time and start working towards that. And so each year we look forward to like almost like a new graduating class at various levels. And uh, I'd like to um, you know, compliment everybody on their accomplishments. Uh, the three individuals that we recognize special tonight, um, Anji Joe Gabriel, Anji uh, 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 Woody Wilson and Shan Jeff Ellis, uh, both been around probably all of them for at least 50 years experience in martial arts each. So that's, uh, you know, says something for their commitments. And, uh, you know, I think that the, the people that we picked this year for awards are were very, very, um, uh, very, very overdue for some of you to be recognized by this organization. So I thank you for your patience. I like to kind of talk about the, the you know, the future coming up and the activities because, uh, you know, we're, we're moving pretty strong towards the, um, vaccinations of people in the country and more and more people are accepting the fact of the vaccinations and so if we do a good job with that then you know everything will open up the economy the dojos you know all kinds of different kind of activities and that will, will become back available again we won't have so much controversy about whether to open the schools or not whether that's good for the teachers or good for the children and which ones should you know how to balance out those needs we hope um, probably the next big activity that we'll have with the Kwame Khan will be our picnic, which we're gonna plan for August. Uh, most likely we'll put it here in Stowe, Ohio, where we had it planned last year and it was canceled. So we'll look towards that in August. Um, we probably will have a tournament or two for those of you that are interested in that. Uh, we're gonna try to get one off in April. I don't know if that's gonna be comfortable enough for everybody, uh, but um, you know we have that you know planned. And then, uh, you know, perhaps some other activities, you know, throughout the year. Uh, the biggest activity we have going on right now is the uh, teacher training, which is going off very, over very well. And we're covering a lot of subjects and a lot of information, uh, not just simply on the martial arts, but on the history of the Kwamecon. And guys are getting a pretty good education of, you know, how things were back in the 70s and 80s and slowly moved through the different uh, years. So I think we things are looking up and I think they're, they should be exciting. Uh, we, sh you know, we hope to have again, you know, more activities where we start to integrate, you know, uh, with the different people because one of the most important functions that we always had was our, what we call black belt extravaganza. And that's where everybody received the award, shook hands with everybody. And well, some people thought that took a long time. What it really meant was you came into personal contact with each and every person within the Kwame Khan juniors and seniors alike, all at one point in time had a personal contact with everybody. And that's extremely important. And we can't do that this year, but again, I would encourage me um, before we close that if there's anybody on here that you wish to send a special uh, congratulations to, 
that you do so and, and as soon as we bow out we'll leave everything up and you know let everybody you know if you want to get together and talk to people or things like that uh we'll just let the meeting go but we'll officially close it so unless Hanshi Overholt or Hanshi Wilcox has anything more that they would like to say, um, I'd like to call this to a close. So Hanshi Overholt or Hanshi Wilcox, do you have anything that you would like to add? Hanshi Hickey? Yes. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. There's one thing I'd like to say. I want to put a little bit of levity into this. Quite a few years ago, I was at uh, the symposium and Chuhi Park was, this, was there. Of course, he was an honored right. guest. And we're getting ready to go in for the dinner, and we're in line, and he's right in front of me. He turned around, looked at me, very casually said, this is the gray hair line. <laughs> I said, yes, sir, it is. So I'm looking at you guys. I'm looking at Yurko and Gabriel and, of course, myself, and and uh, I know Wil I know Wilcox and, and uh, Wilson. We got gray hair. If you'd let you grow out a little bit, Pat, Mr. Hickey. <laughs> Anyways, that's all that I had to say. I just had to kind of pass that on. I did want to take a minute, though, to congratulate everybody. Uh, unfortunately, I could get myself unmuted here a couple of times, but um, all of you, you definitely, you, you really earned what you've got. And thank you. That's all. Anchio. Wilcox, I mean, do you have anything further you would like to add? We may not have him on uh, audio. Anybody else have a general message they would like to make? If not, then I wasn't not able. To... Sorry, sir. Go ahead, Steve. I was able to uh, participate in chat, but I'd like to congratulate everybody for their awards and their uh, their promotions tonight. Everybody. Uh, deserves everything they've gotten, and uh, again, I'm I'm proud to be part of this organization as well. Thank you to all the Shihan and uh, my Han Shi that that have uh, contributed to my to my growing in this organization as well. Now, Mr. Hickey, I'd like to make a comment. I'd like to take an opportunity to congratulate each and every person who is here this evening and on their accomplishments uh, thereof and. And know you guys are really, really part of a really grand group and just uh, keep moving forward. Hey. Okay. So everybody, Bob, Ski, Shomini, Ray. One, two, three. Bon amigo. You know. Okay. Like I said, I'll leave it up if you guys want to kind of converse a little bit amongst yourselves or continue with some chats. Well done, everyone. Can't wait to see everyone in the near future. Well done. Mr. Hickey? Mr. Hickey? Yes. Uh, the na my name on the certificate is spelled wrong. I know it always is, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I thought that the better solution is to have you change your name. <laughs> now, I think it's spelled right because Sean Ellis caught it. And I think that what he did was he sent you the wrong certificate. Okay. So let me see about uh, what I want you to do is text me your email address or an email address I can use for you. Okay. Okay. And I'll get something to you before tonight's over with that should be spelled right. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me get this. Uh, did you get it, Mr. Hickey? Yes, I did. Thank you. And again, apologies for that, but uh, I, I did send it out and I did change the name to what Chanel has told me, but I bet you it still has an H in it. Right? Yes. And so somehow the revised certificate didn't get in the right group to get to send to you. And uh, I, I think it's here. I think we just need to. Uh, to Nicholas, uh, so I, I believe I've got the. I, I believe I had the right copy you sent to me, uh, Hickey. Okay, Nicholas, did you get that? So you can just put it right in the chat right now and send it to Nicholas. Yeah, I, I, 
The one that I put in the chat is, is spelled M-I-M-I-S. Is no, the first it, name. It oh, has not, pardon, pardon me. First, first name. Well, that's not the important one. Let me see what I've got here. You got two certificates, though, right? Nicholas, yeah. you had two certificates today, correct? No, I only one. That, that's, you're supposed to have two. He has two. I bet you only got one. But you're supposed to have two. This is a fourth level is junior black belt and a kabuto also. Fourth level the karate and the and the first junior black belt in a kabuto. Yes, the junior first level black belt in uh, kabuto that has it without the H. Oh, and it's supposed to be. So it's the uh, karate one that's wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't get both. Of them. I got one. All right. Well, look, I'm putting one in the chat here. That probably went to everybody. <laughs> we'll go look for that. And let me see if I can find the other one here. Just put both of them in the chat. I'll download both of them and check. check both and they both should be spelled right in the chat. The ones, the two I just sent to you, uh, check them out. They should be have their, their correct uh, spelling on them. Checking out right now. See, this is what I mean. The new requirements for Shihan are to be able to do what he's doing right now without thinking. <laughs> because he knows how fast he's, he knows exactly how everything works. And it took, I don't know how much training to get some of you guys to, to the point that we could run this meeting. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the Kabuto one is right, but the fourth level is wrong. Yeah. Fourth level is wrong? Yeah. The Kabuto one is right, but the fourth level is uh, uh the second one I just put in there? Yeah. Uh the the first one is wrong. No, I just I just added so let me send you this one. So the Kabuto is right, and I just put another one in the chat. Open that one up. Okay. Opening it up. Be fair. If I, I think if we were all doing Zoom five hours a day, we'd all be really good at it. <laughs> Thank you. It's not fixed. Yeah, somehow it got that was the one you should have gotten originally. Somehow it got mixed up. Okay. All right. So that's a record. That's the first year that we've actually had it done on time. <laughs> I think we've misspelled a certificate every year for four years. I'm pretty actually one of them you sold it right the other you had two years wrong <laughs> one right and then <laughs> okay all right well congratulations thank you uh, Kristen's still on <laughs> congratulations Kristen yay <laughs> Anshi, if you could send me uh, red wires, he's unable to achieve his. Charles, can you do that? Put in the chat. Come on right up. I can't. I can't get it through chat. It has to be email. I will email it right now. Sorry about that. I I haven't figured out how to get documents from from the chat yet. Well, Steve, you got a big problem coming up this year. <laughs> it, it might be. It might be just because I'm using my iPad. I don't know. Yeah, well, I hey, Mickey, you're say the they can say the files, but you don't always know where it puts them. Mickey Yurko. Okay. Mickey, can you hear me, Mickey? Yes, I can hear you. Larry Overwood, how you doing? Good, good. Hey, really miss seeing uh, you and, and, of course, Bob Magnuson. He's dead. That's what a tragedy that was, but I'm really looking forward to seeing you. Okay. Yeah, all those gray haired guys. I like glow in the dark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe Gabriel, you too. Aren't you, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. You, that, that's me. Joe Gabriel. Did Hunchy go? Is he still there, Joe Gabriel? Uh, he's, he's signing off. Yeah, he's still here. Hunchy, Gabriel. Oh, there he is. 
You can't see me, but I can see you. <laughs> you know what a small world this is? We find we found out that Joe's wife is related to some of my relatives. Is that right? Congratulations. <laughs> nice to see you, Joe, Mr. Gabriel. And Mr. Wilson, congratulations. Joe, Joe, we couldn't hear what you said because you're muted. Who, me? Okay. I'm unmuted, correct? You're, yeah, well, Joe's unmuted now, too. Oh, so if he's unmuted? Say something, we can I am. Oh. Well, go ahead, Mr. Gabriel. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the near future. Congratulations. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you, too. Miss seeing all you guys. Where's Mr. We'll Wilson? Have to fix, we'll have to fix that in August at the um, picnic. I'll be, I'll be looking forward to seeing you there. And I will be there. And I plan on being there. <clears throat> Woody Wilson? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, you're more uh, than welcome. I wanted to mention how um, I appreciate the job that the two MCs did. They did an excellent job today. And also, uh, Hanche Hickey. Well, I knew they would. Well, I knew they would. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Congratulations to you. And Steve? Yes, sir. Steve McKay? Steve McKay? Yes, sir. You're going to have to grow some hair so we know when you get gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I don't see it happening anytime real soon. <laughs> well, we miss see seeing you, but I know sir. you're in a good class. I'm going to try to come to class this week. That's fine. Well, I, I, you're taking those classes from uh, Hanshi Hickey, and that's really important. You should want to be sure you continue with that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm done. Unless somebody else wants to step in. All right, well, I think we're going to call it a night. So thanks. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Okay. Have a good uh, evening. Have a good evening. Hickey, nice job. Thank you. McKay and, and Rhodes, nice job. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Hunchy Hickey. Congratulations to all you, all you people not only who accomplished your promotions tonight, but uh, to the management board and along with uh, to the Hanshi, uh Bill Cox and, and uh, Overholt and uh, Hanshi Hickey. It's probably tough putting all this together. It's just not an easy task doing all this stuff di digital. And I think it went very, very well. Congratulations to all of you guys. Well done. Good night, everybody.